wonderful people, I am Bootcat. and welcome back to our Planet Century Let's Play Adventure. This is episode 9. This would really technically be episode 10. The last time I tried recording, which was supposed to be episode 9, there were so many problems. There were audio issues, there was some lag with the face cam, which is why there's no face cam in this one. I still haven't quite figured out how to fix that yet. In that episode, we tried to go. I tried to go back to uh, the Leaf Fairy to try to defeat her, and I ended up dying like 4 or 5 times, and I just got so frustrated that I ended up stopping, and I was like an hour and a half into the recording. So with all those things, I decided to re-record episode 9, that, and I did a little video about this update, but there are now cows uh, with a tiny little patch, a uh, tiny but effective patch in my opinion, that the developers did, you know, in the meantime while they're doing like the huge update that they've been planning for a little while now. Uh, but yeah, in this episode, uh, okay, so let me open up the map here. In this episode, I, I dug this mine shaft. Well, I have one mine shaft here, and I dug this other one that's gonna take us straight down to this weird little circle thing. You see that little circle thing right here? This, I believe, is another, like, mini challenge room. It, it, it's pretty gnarly looking, like it's just a giant wall of flesh, and no, I don't mean the boss from Terraria. And then, in this direction over here, I don't know what it is. It looks like some weird dungeon-like thing, so anyway, but we're gonna go and investigate that in this episode, and I do have a full armor now, a full gold armor now that has been upgraded a few times. Uh, I got this really cool mask. I mean, look how many freaking masks I've been getting. This is just insane. And what the sad thing is, when they do do that big giant update with the new biome, I have to create a new world all over again. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't make the museum or, or the uh, you know the museum and lab yet but before we get uh, completely started with this episode I'm gonna do what I've been doing in the past few episodes which I've just been acknowledging the people who have really been helping me out and giving me some really great support with this series first and foremost I want to give a big giant uh, thank you to King of Toast who also mentioned the thing about the Phoenix Sword on top of lots of other awesome tips and information not only on this game but also Starbound so big thanks to you man sorry I didn't mention you in the last episode but yeah seriously thank you for all your tips and help I want to thank Julian who said huge tip the phoenix sword contains the soul of a phoenix basically in addition to being a sword it's also kind of a soul gem with a really powerful phoenix inside all you need to do is grab the phoenix sword and put it into your shield slot and dun dun dun, dun the rise of the phoenix look how cool that is and it is a pretty powerful little little pet that follows you around uh and, and does some pretty significant damage on top of doing uh, burn damage or fire damage next I want to thank swaggy dark I, I believe it's dark ray or dark rye basically just giving me tips on my stamina They noticed that my stamina level was going down pretty quickly in the past few episodes Mainly because I've been using Keiko's wrath so much and I spam it like this and as you can see it eats up the stamina quite a bit so they just gave me a tip to make a gold boomerang uh, and a gold bow, and I'm really glad I did because the, go the gold bow actually shoots uh, triple arrows simultaneously. And yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? That is pretty, pretty awesome. I like that a lot. And last but certainly not least, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Ermalia, I believe it's pronounced Ermalia. Ermalia13. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me the tip on the leaf lion. I had no idea that you could do this. We get our leaf lion, go like that, and we press R on our leaf lion. We can actually ride our leaf lion. And if we right click with our leaf lion while, while riding it, we can start doing its attacks, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, thank you guys so much. I honestly would not be able to do this series effectively without you guys. I would just be running around uh, like a chicken with my head cut off, right? Why did my guardian just jump down the mine shaft? But yeah, anyway, thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. I will always give credit where credit is due. All right, before we go down uh, down that mine shaft to that world, it looks like my dude got up, all right? So that's, that's, that's good news. But yeah, before we go down and investigate what those things were, let's check out this cow update. I'm so excited to actually try this out. I have not done it without you guys. I, I really wanted to do it. I wanted to prepare and everything for this episode and see what it was like. But I was like, you know what? No, I want to experience it on camera. Or sort of on camera while recording anyway with you guys. So anyway, what I got to do really quick is I got to cut down all this wheat. So let me do this really quick. I made sure to start growing this way before I started recording. That way, you know, we wouldn't have to sit here and wait for the wheat to grow. Because I am completely out uh, because of the chicken manger. But anyway, let's go down here. Woo! Wee! And I already crafted. This is the cow manger right here. So, yeah, if you go to your, your basic crafting table. Or not basic 
your advanced crafting table and you scroll down to where the the chicken manger is right underneath is this one that says undefined no description that's because i think it's still new and it is an early access game but anyway i'm pretty sure this is the cow manger so let's go ahead and try it i've already seen a couple cows in the game uh accidentally hit one and it uh tried killing me <laughs> So anyway, let's go and put our wheat in, and I had a bunch of corn saved up. All right, here's our corn. Bada bing, bada boom. So hopefully we'll get a cow here in a little bit sometime during this episode. Hello, Mr. Wizard Guy. Do you have any more potions for me? You sure do. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate all your help, all your hard work. You're the best. Oh, you just made another one for me. See, if you compliment the wizard, he works faster. No, he doesn't. I'm just making that up. But thank you so much, Mr. Wizard Guy. I really, really appreciate it. All right, uh, Mr. Guardian, you do you. do you. Keep keep killing chickens left and right, man, because you've, you've, you must, he's you got a problem. Again, he's got a problem with chickens, apparently. Oh, uh, hey, guys, here's a cow right here. Check it out. Hey there, Mr. Cow Guy. Uh, why don't you come on over to, to, to my, my house? Come on over to my house. I have a cow manger over there. I don't I don't have any wheat or anything on me or else I would just plop the manger down right here. Come on, dude, go to my house. But anyway, guys, you want to see what happens if you if you hit, accidentally hit a cow like I did? Ouch! That's what happens. He gets ouch and he does not give up. He okay, yeah, he's relentless too. Absolutely relentless. So anyway, this is the the gnarly room I was telling you about. And look how disgusting it looks, man. Look how gross it looks. Ooh. Apparently, I killed something and did not grab all the souls. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get some potions ready. Uh, let's go ahead and take a large power potion. Let's go ahead and get out our stamina potion. And let's see. Uh, I might as well take a small. It's going to run out by the time I get there. Let's do a super recovery. And then let's do a large regen and a life potion. And then let's go into this challenge room, which I believe is a challenge room. I hope it's a challenge room and not a boss fight. If so, if it is uh, a boss fight, I'm totally not prepared because I don't even know what boss this Okay, it's Horde. All right, let's see if we can do this. Man, all right, let's see if we can do this effectively. Come on now, come on now. And you know what? I really should have got my Phoenix out, um, but that's okay. Hopefully, hopefully we can do this. Man, they're coming out really... They're coming out one at a time, which I, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like. All right. I'm sorry that I'm clicking my mouse so loudly, guys. I'm like freaking out a little bit. All right. I can't tell. Are those platforms right there? Are these, are these platforms? Okay. They are platforms. All right. They are. All right. All right. Um, we're getting, we're getting hurt. We're getting hurt pretty bad. Actually, we're getting hurt really bad. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of you guys. That's not fair. That's not fair. All right, heal up. Just keep spamming the heal button, man. Just keep spamming that heal button. There we go. There we go. We survived. Uh, and we did get the gold chest. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is better than the one that I already have on. Let's see. This does uh, damages plus 25% if HP is under 30. This is damages plus 100%. If HP is under 10%. Ooh, another butterfly gem. Except this one does, uh, well, this one does HP plus 10. This one does, uh, SP plus 5. I got another Icarus necklace. All right. Well, that was pretty awesome. You know, I, I, I expected it to be a little bit more difficult, and it probably does get a little bit more difficult. Okay, so, yeah, the, the, with the update, they made it so that you, you can't break all the blocks in, in the challenge room. Holy cow. Dude. Wow, you are a big guy. All right, time for me to show you the other thing that I was talking about now that we've used over half of our <laughs> freaking health potions. So anyway, if we go over in this direction, there is a really, really cool looking room, man. I don't know what it is. I It does not look like a challenge room. It's too big to be a challenge room. And I don't think it's a boss fight because from all the bosses that I know about, they don't exist in any sort of environment like this I don't think so anyway uh, this is it this is it right here look how cool this looks guys uh, actually before we get into it let me show you if we go down this way you can actually see a little bit more in the room and look at it. it's like a, a big giant sword build which is just really cool I just really like the the look of this 
place. I like the look of the blocks. Oh, I think there's a mimic chest right here. This is definitely a mimic chest. Sometimes they don't attack, and sometimes they do. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I, it's definitely a mimic chest because I'm pressing R on it, and it's not opening. There it goes. There it goes. Holy cow. Yeah, this guy's going to... Oh my god, dude, he killed me so fast. What? That was ridiculous. Did you see that? Holy cow. All right, guys, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Whee! Oh, look at that. I actually hit the sword and I just did like this giant like, whee! Man, that was cool. That was like a big like superhero move. Oh, by the way, guys, I noticed something. So do you guys remember, I think it was episode 8, I was showing you that I got a bunch of new swords. And one of the new swords was the Butcher Slicer. And the Butcher Slicer actually had this same design and in, 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 in drawing as the Shark Sword. But once they did that cow update and they fixed a bunch of things, they actually changed it uh, to I, what it's supposed to be. So the Butcher Slicer actually is supposed to look like this, not like another Shark Sword. Aha! Here's the entrance. Oh, you know what? This might be another challenge room. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's 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 prepare. Let's heal up. Um, you know what? I'll eat some sausage. I haven't eaten sausage yet, so that's good. Let's go with a large power potion. Let's go with a large regen, a life potion, a super recovery. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we got extermination here. All right, not bad. This is just a really cool build for extermination. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. All right, I- Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, I'm not- Oh god, oh god, oh god, get out of here. Get, 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 get. Heal up, heal up. Oh my gosh, man, that was bad. That was really bad. Let's just burn them up, burn them up, burn them up, burn them up. Come on now. Burn them up, burn them up. Come on now. There we go. There we go. All right. And let's get these guys. Uh, what, what do we got here? We got, just got this guy and that's it. This spirit doesn't belong, I'm assuming. Never does. Is that it? Okay. That was it. All right. Very nice. Very nice. And it looks like we got some really nice stuff. What, what do we got here? We have a silver endurance ring. Uh, dash and run cost is zero. Holy cow. That's freaking awesome, dude. Man, who was it that told me about the 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 stamina? Uh, it was Swaggy, dude. Swaggy Dark Ray or Swaggy Dark Ray, if you're watching this, look at that, dude. Now I don't have to use up any stamina with 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 my dashes and running. That's freaking awesome, man. Gold ore ring reveals ores and shadows. Okay, so this is another reveals ores and shadows. Way better than my iron one, though. Way better than my iron one. All right. All in all, that was pretty, a pretty nice uh, grab, if you ask me. That was pretty awesome. And I can actually take some of these blocks. That makes me super happy because these are really, really cool looking, man. Oh, come on, creep. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get on my face. Get my face, dude. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the souls. I am a, I'm a soul. I'm a soul eater. I'm a soul cat. Ta. Alright guys, sorry, I'm losing it a little bit, and that's okay. We're all entitled to our losing it moments in life, right? Dude, guys, check this out! Dashy, dashy, dash, 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 dash! Oh man, that's so nice that my dashes don't cost any stamina now. For real, man. What about my air dash? Oh, my air dash doesn't cost anything either. Very cool. Oh, there's the mimic chest. Found the mimic chest. All right, guys. Well, let's head back up top. And sadly, that's probably going to be it for this episode. Uh, let's see if we can uh, tackle this dude again. Uh, I'm going to take a power potion again. And, and let's see if we can do this. Uh, okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he can actually get down. He can get down, but what if I get up onto a platform and then just start spamming this? I'm just gonna. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> just, just jump through my little sprinkler of fire. There you go, buddy. You got this. You got this. There we go. That's a good mimic chest. There we go. Good boy. Good boy, mimic chest. Yeah. You're a good boy. 
Here's a good boy, Mimi Chest. Yeah, we did it! Hooray, hurrah, and all that stuff. That was really like a cheap way of doing that, but you know what? I don't really care. All right, guys, uh, I will meet you back up top, and we will see if the cow has become our friend. All right, guys, well, unfortunately, I was not able to tame the cow. It did not, uh, no cows came to my, my poor little manger there. <laughs> uh, so I decided to bust up the, the cow manger, and I was going to try to find one for you guys, but I'm looking all over the place throughout my, my area, and, I, and I'm, I just can't find any. It's like whenever I'm not, whenever I can't do anything about it, that's when I find all these cows. Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, what you going to do, right? What you going to do? Eventually, a cow will come, though, and I'm pretty pumped for it. I'm pretty excited for it. In the next video, I will try to get the face cam thing fixed. I really do apologize. Uh, I don't know what's going on. And also, I really do apologize for the lack of content lately. Uh, I've been having some crazy problems with my computers. Uh, things dealing with my, my processor and my graphics card. I'm going to have to get... Uh, a new mainly I think that first I'll have to get a new processor which means I'll have to get a new motherboard and it's just gonna be expensive and on top of that I've been having really bad issues with my internet I'm not even gonna say what the provider is but basically uh, that that just to, to give you perspective that latest video I did which was about like three and a half minutes long took me 12 hours to upload uh, so it's just been an absolute nightmare this past week trying to upload content for you guys but I promise you that I will try to pump out more things uh, fast in a faster manner. It's just some things might have to be manipulated like no face cam. But anyway, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys give me, especially on this series and the Pokebound series. You guys are so absolutely incredible. I love you guys so much. If you guys like this video and you guys like this series, please do me a favor and pull that like button for me because you guys know it means the world to me anyway. Plus, it's a great way of conveying the message that you do indeed want to see some more. And hey, while you're at it, if you haven't already, be a part of the fun and the community by pulling that subscribe button and becoming an official portrait. Until next time, I'm Booty Can. I will see you all later. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Wow. Bye. 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 Bye.